So what if Hernan Crespo was managing Lazio? As you may or may not know, Hernan Crespo has been enjoying a lot of success lately and this winter he was appointed the new head coach of Sao Paulo in Brazil after leading Argentine side Defensa and Justicia to the Copa Sudamericana title and they also qualified for the Copa Libertadores for the first time. So let's imagine he was appointed manager of Lazio. How would Lazio play using today's squad? Let's take a look at that, try to set up the team and then take the team into online divisions for some online games. And I obviously did some googling to find out exactly how he plays. I think the manager profile that you have in the game with Hernan Crespo is pretty accurate in regards to positioning and stuff like that. So I'm going to keep the structure that is set up in my club. So let's start by doing that and then we'll go into the instructions. Okay, so it looks like this is pretty accurate. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to auto select to see how uh, the AI selects the players. In goal, obviously Strakosha has a better rating than Pepe Reina. But I guess it really depends on how you want to play because Strakosha is a defensive goalie. He does not have the low punt or anything. While Pepe Reina is more of an offensive goalie. He has the low punt, he can captain. But I'm going to start using Strakosha to see how it works out in this setup. Because I'm not going to play counters. Because Crespo usually likes to play a possession-based short passing strategy. So we're going to build up slowly from the back using the center backs to pass up to the wingers and then inside and then try to switch play. I will get back into that later. And then we have the back three. Really important to have good passers, especially on each side. So I'm going to do like this. I want a Serbi in the middle because he's the slowest one of these guys. Radu is pretty quick and also Luis Felipe is pretty quick. So I want them on each side. And what's nice about Lazio, they have so many good center backs. Take a look at the bench here. You have Musacchio, you have Hutt, and you have Patrick. All rated at least 77, which is perfect. That's exactly what you want when you play with three at the back and you're going into online divisions. With a team in C form, you're going to rotate a lot. Then we have a couple of defensive midfielders. Lucas Leiva obviously is going to play. Destroyer playing style, he inspires some movement as well. Really solid defensively and a good passer. And then we have Luis Alberto, perhaps not optimal in this position. Defensive midfield, I think I will stick like center midfielder on him, just to have him perform a little bit better. And I also am going to switch the positions of these two like this, because we're going to try to switch play a lot. And I think what I'm going to try to do because Lazzari is such a good crosser, I'm going to try to build up on the left side. I'm going to pass it to Radu and then have Radu play it to either the left midfielder Lulic. If I start Lulic there, I'm not sure yet. Or I'm going to pass it to Luis Alberto. And then what's going to happen is from the left, they do one pass inside either to one of the attacking midfielders or perhaps Luis Alberto in this role, and he's going to switch the play over, so you need a good passing ability to be able to hit Lazzari. So that's why I want Luis Alberto there, instead of Lucas Leiva. Obviously Lucas Leiva is a good passer, but I think Luis Alberto is better, so you will get more accurate and quicker passes out on the wing. And also you can do like Luis Alberto as a deep-lying playmaker if you want that. And then on the left side, I would actually prefer... I'm not too keen on using Lulic because he's right-footed. But I guess he's the best option. I could also do like Fares. He's left footed. And I guess it's gonna. I'm gonna alternate them from game to game depending on the form. I'm gonna start Lulic uh, in the first game and see what happens. I'm also gonna try Fares. Lazzari is a given at right, uh, at right midfield. Cross specialist playing style. Really good crosser. He. I'm gonna cross a lot with him. Gonna try to hit Milinkovic, Savic, and uh, Immobile inside the box. And then the game, for whatever reason, had put Korea like way off the, almost out of the squad. So I managed to, to dig him up here, and I'm going to start him as one of the attacking midfielders. He's a whole player, the same as Milinkovic Savic, which I think is a perfect like player to have in this setup. Two whole players here behind the striker. That's basically going to be the setup. The key, obviously, will be the instructions. So we're going to do possession build up with short passing, 
and he likes to attack wide using the wings and then switching play over to the other side to back and forth. It really depends on which space is opening up. And then on support range, he actually has five on the My Club Manager profile, so I'm going to stick with that. And for the defense, he has all out defense in combination with containment wide and aggressive pressure with a really low defensive line and a medium compactness. And then for the advanced instructions, we're going to hug the touchline because he likes to have width to be able to switch play from sides to sides. And I'm going to disable the deep defensive line. I'm not too keen on using it actually. I can't see like the big advantage of using it. And that's basically going to be it. I think I'm also going to do one more thing. I'm going to stick defensive on Lucas Leva just to make sure he stays back. And then for the defense, I'm actually going to activate wing back because I want my wide midfielders to come back when defending just to give me a little bit more defensive stability. So that's the setup. Let's save this bad boy. And it's ready to go for online divisions. Let's head into some games. Okay, so let's continue on this season, which I started with Lille. I've played six games with Lille here. And so Lazio will award 400 points per win. We faced Juventus in the first game. Gonna be a pretty good game. And he plays 60 up the middle and then prefers the left a little bit more than the right. So I guess it's our lucky day. We don't have to make any changes to our starting 11. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do man marking on Cristiano. I'm going to put a Serbi on him. Let's try to build up through Radu here and then let's see if we, we can make it work. Do like this and then we we'll switch over to Lazzari. And then an the early cross perhaps. Just a little bit of target. Oh, so close. I mean, if I did a regular cross, it would probably become a little bit more accurate. But I try like the early cross there. So it's goalless at the break. I think we're playing like fundamentally pretty similar to what uh, Crespo would have done. <laughs> wow! Come on, why? I think it was because it was his left foot. I don't think he was actually trying to hit Lazzari there on the far post. It was just bad accuracy. Let's go. Let's see here on space. Perfect. Lazzari. Go. Let's score here, please. What? Penalty. So it's Immobile. Let's hit it like top corner. Yes. So we pick up the win, we score on the penalty, 
we have a couple of like huge chances we should have scored on but we didn't obviously it's the first game trying out a new formation so it's always like a learning process So this is going to be a lot tougher, obviously, Manchester United and a pretty good rated player. So we place 63 up the middle and then equally on each side. And for this one, we have to make some changes. Actually, Radu is out. I'm going to start Patrick and I'm going to switch it around a little bit. I'm going to do Patrick on the right and then Luis Felipe on the left. Lucas Leiva is also out for this one. I'm going to do Parolo as the partner for Luis Alberto there in the middle. And then Lazzari is out, which is a real bummer. So I'm going to sw switch over Lulic to the right side. And I'm going to start Fares as the left midfielder. Oh no, come on. No, 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 no. No! Yes, it went in. We get the goal. Come on, guys. Look at this. Yes. That was a beautiful goal. We build it up exactly how we want it. We want to create space and try to exploit it. Using quick combination plays. There we go, Immobile. We are getting some great movement from this uh, from this tactic, guys. Okay, so we are up 3-0. I think all three goals were excellent. I mean, obviously, the attacking flow is going to change from game to game because it really depends also on the defensive tactic of your opponent. What's going on here? Is that a free kick to him? How is that a free kick to him? I really love the movement we get from this setup. It's so good. And then we have some nice combinations here. And then another one with some nice combinations on the left side. Alberto, then Correa and Immobile. Perfect, absolutely perfect goals. So we dominate both possession and the chance creation for the second straight game. And this time against a much tougher opponent than the previous game. So I'm going to reflect a little bit while I'm searching for an opponent here. Obviously, this formation is working pretty well as intended, I would say. We are switching play from side to side, and we have Luis Alberto as kind of a playmaker with a really good passing foot. He's opening up all kinds of space with his movement and his passing ability. And in the last game, we also saw like the difference between using Fares as the left midfielder and Lulic in the first game, because Lulic is kind of a 
a stationary wide midfielder. He's not that quick. He's right-footed. You have to do passes inside with him, you know. I guess you could do like curling shots and stuff like that if you want to try that out. But I think for a pure like winger kind of player, you should go with Fares because he is so quick. And he was behind at least the first goal, I think, in the previous game. I think he also was involved in a couple of very nice attacks. Okay, so for this one we're facing Atalanta. And he is playing 62 up the middle. And for this one, Radu is out. So I'm gonna start, I think I'm gonna start Patrick like this. And I'm gonna switch Patrick with Luis Felipe once again. Then Luis Alberto is out. That is a real bummer. I'm gonna be honest, that's a real bummer. Who should I do? Should I do Parolo there or Lulic perhaps? And then start Fares. I'm gonna go with uh, Parolo here. And then I'm gonna start Fares on the left. But let's see if we can get crosses from both sides here. Try to play around doing like uh, triangle plays and combination plays. Obviously, since Luis Alberto is not playing, I need to change it up a little bit. I'm not sure how this will work when he's not playing. Here we see the passing foot of Lucas Leiva. Really good. Let's see if Lazzari can hit one. No! There's Fares with the speed. Come on, Fares. No! I mean, Atalanta are really solid inside the box here. They stack players inside. Really difficult to, to get the ball through to someone. Come on, guys! No! That's the first time I've gotten like a rebound on a penalty directly at you. But I think that is because he was manually controlling him. Everything is so different when you manually control things. Okay, so we are up 1-0 at the break. Okay, so we pick up another win in pretty convincing fashion, actually. He doesn't create a whole lot. And we are able to build some attacks even without Luis Alberto. So this formation and the tactic is working pretty well. It's pretty flexible and you can use it with a lot of different players. So to summarize here, we play three games. We win all three games and we keep the clean sheet for all three games. And I think we're going to wrap up the video there. What do you think of the formation? What do you think about Crespa as a manager? It's not unthinkable that he will come to Europe someday and perhaps manage a team like Lazio. So leave your thoughts in the comments. And I want to thank you again for all the support lately. The channel is growing. It's really exciting. Head over to Instagram to follow me there. I'm going to try to post more short form content over there. If you want to follow, please do. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.